Okay, I'm gonna show you all my $30 purchase. I don't know what this thing is. Got this at a pawn shop. Somebody has spent some time on it because it's been, uh, it plays great and uh, guitar that's sold that won't play great unless somebody did something to it. So, looks to me like, um, well, maybe it didn't do too much, but it, it looks pretty good. I, I think it might be a super tone because of the headstock has kind of that thing on there. If you know what it is, let me know. But it's my next project. Um, it's all birch, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on a spruce top. And I'm also going to put a regular bridge on it, which I have over here. Currently, it has uh, electric guitar strings on it, so they're really light. And I think if I put some real heavy strings on, some 12 through 54, that it's probably not going to hold up without something. But uh, the bridge I'm going to put on, you can kind of see there's plenty of room for it at the current neck setting that it's at. Um, plenty of room for a saddle with this bridge. Um, but there's probably no bridge plate in or anything in there. There might be a little something. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some, uh, make a new top out of this spruce. Now this spruce is way too thick, so I'm going to have to uh, mill it down. This is what I call uh, mystery spruce because I bought it at a garage sale, believe it or not. Uh, someone had already drawn a guitar on it and apparently had plans to do something with it like that. But I bought a stack of this stuff for like $5. And um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And of course, rather than make my own braces, I scabbed these. these this is X bracing. And I scabbed it off of an old Ibanez guitar that had seen its uh, final day. It wasn't worth fixing. Um, I'd actually scabbed quite a few parts off of it. Uh, the fretboard, I used the tuners on another uh, guitar. And uh, now I'm going to use these braces. And uh, I'm going to use the back braces on a, a, another project I got going. So anyways, um, I'm not going to change the tuners. These have furals on them, but they're kind of... Uh, just thin. They actually tune real well, believe it or not. But I'm going to change the furals out on that. And um, yeah, I'm going to make a guitar, and you might ask why. And, and the uh, reasoning for it is because. And so uh, I'm milling this wood down to make the guitar top after out of. And uh, right now it is about. Oh, 210 thousandths, and we need to take it down to 140. And so this is my uh, $40 garage sale drum sander. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and mill one down. Plug it in. It's uh, nothing fancy. Uh, takes a while. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and glue the two top pieces together. That's all there is to that. Tomorrow, or later on tonight, that'll be dried and ready to pull out, and then I'll be putting the hole in it for the sound hole, and then uh, put all the braces on it, cut it out rough, and then we'll put it on the guitar. So it's time to uh, tear this one down. I need to use the top as a uh, template. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to steam off this part. I'm going to take the neck off. And then we're going to take the top off. So uh, anyways, you just kind of steam it up. Or heat it up until that glue releases. So just uh, wait. Hurry up and wait. Okay, it looks like she's about ready. So I'm going to just hold the guitar up and uh, shove her in and see what happens. It usually takes a while, but yeah, I don't think I got, I'm not in the cavity, that's for sure. Well, you never know. Actually, maybe I am. I can feel the glue. Yeah, I'm in it.
Okay, so I got the top off and I found the center and I traced around it and there you have it. And now I'm going to figure out where these go. Now this was, all these braces were out of a full size guitar. So I'm going to have to trim them, but that's no problem. And they all still need to be cleaned up still pretty much, but um, we'll see how that goes. There we go. much how that's going to go. I'm going to throw another brace up in here and I'm going to put a little contour on it so that uh, I don't get it so it doesn't cave in uh, and get a little bit of fall away on the neck uh, extension or whatever you'd call it in that area. But anyways, um, kind of get an idea how this is going to lay out, something like that. and Maybe a couple of these babies up here. I'm going to try not to over overdo it but uh kind of that's what we're going to go for something like that i'm gonna have to trim the heck out of them carrying on um i cut these uh braces so that they fit and i cut out the uh all the excess around the body i left about a quarter inch all the way around uh, but I'm ready to go ahead and start gluing the top on and I don't have one of those fancy things with all the bars hanging down that you can clamp these with so I do the best I can with what I got and so what I did is I just took some uh, old plywood to cut them to a length where the popsicle stick I can cut down to make fit under them so what I'm going to do is just clamp this down and use the pops cut the popsicle sticks and use those to uh, hold this down. Okay, as you can see, we've got the second brace in. Uh, I waited about an hour or so for this to dry, maybe two hours. Um, just under two hours, let's say. But anyway, that's good enough. It's 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 not moving, and uh, just got that one done, cleaned it up, got to have a wet rag around, wipe it all up, do a good job, and uh, yeah, so there you go. And there is some more Popsicle Madness. Well, I made a boo-boo, but that's okay. Um, I forgot that this was a parter guitar. And the uh, the holes for the strings are going to be right in this area. And so this brace got in the way. And rather than taking it out and figure it all out, I just cut it off and put the uh, bridge plate in. And uh, I am hope it's going to sound good. We'll see. Well, there you have it. She's pretty much ready to go in as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm gonna take it. And so the next thing you'll see is when it's all glued up and put on the guitar. Okay, uh, I didn't get a bunch of video on this, but I did just, uh, take all the clamps off and uh, need to trim, trim it off. Okay, well, we're getting a little bit farther along. The top is on and um, trimmed. I got a little bit of chip out here and there, uh, which will be taken care of if I put binding on it. If not, I'll glue in, glue in and, uh, some pieces and reshape. Just getting it started, put some heat on it. I guess I need to be patient. A little persuader in here. Don't want to break anything, but if I can get the glue to start coming up. Another one this side, just to get the thing started. Oops. Ramp gave away.
I sharpened one end of it a little bit just so that uh, it can slide in there pretty good. But once we get to this point, we can go ahead and uh, give a couple love taps like this as we work our way down. Piece of the fretboard with us. Got a little too aggressive. Damn it. That's okay. It's repairable. I put some heavy blocks on the uh, fretboard to keep it from hopefully warping too bad. Um, when they get hot, sometimes they do warp a little bit. This one here is actually quite straight, but uh, when the thing when the fretboards go back on, you want them absolutely perfectly flat. And the fretboard to be perfectly flat too, so that it doesn't really take much clamping. So, okay, we're gonna glue this back on here. I'm gonna be clamping this down like that flat uh, to keep it in position, but I always put down packing tape so it doesn't get glued to the top here. So, anyway. It's pretty, you know, basic stuff, straight out of the box. Take her and clamp her down. We're gonna go more squeeze out. That's okay. Let's see. Yeah, still good. Then we're ready for uh, routing for the truss rod. I'll go get the truss rod and show it to you real quick. It's a little bit longer than it needs to be, but it don't. But it'll be hidden by the. Uh, truss rod cover so it won't matter so much this is a 13 inch right there and you can see it goes all the way back here the nuts right there so it's going to stick about a quarter of an inch past the nut so anyway there you have it Okay, now the one thing about this is, like I said, you want it completely flat. And you can tell that this is, oops, can you tell? <laughs> the way out of the way. You can see that it's definitely not flat. I don't know if you can see it. But it's, uh, needs a little flattening. Now from here, pretty much flat. From there, to there to right about there she starts to uh, bow out a little bit so we have to address that um, and we'll address that on my big uh, um, belt sander I'll lay it flat on there let it sit until she's just you know perfect so I don't know if this is actually gonna make it easier to get these out or I'm gonna end up with chip out probably no matter what I do because this thing is just old and what I did notice here is I chipped out a big chunk right there I didn't even notice that which I can fill I got stuff to fill that with but I got a wet rag here I'm just gonna put it over there on the first couple of frets heat them up just for a minute and I don't know if that helps or not. I've seen some guys do it. I don't know if I can tell the difference or not, but we'll see here. Seems like no matter what you do with these old brittle boards, they just want to chip out. And then you spend hours filling them. them back and forth for a while and pray <laughs> yeah, pick that up too fast oh not bad 
Not much at all. It'll all be pretty much covered up. I'll probably skim that with a little bit of super glue uh, before I put the frets in when I clean this neck up. So uh, anyways, I'm not gonna bore you with taking these all out. That's what it looks like. You gotta do the whole thing. Okay. Let me go a little bit higher. Now, I use some double back tape to uh, hold this in place while I'm doing it. This takes a long time because this is maple and this is sandpaper and it just takes forever. But anyways, um, you just keep working it till you got a new radius. This is a 12 inch. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it's upside down, I don't know. And so you just get it on there and you just start going for it. No magic to it. Once I get done with this aggressive paper, I have paper on here to get the final work done. But uh, so anyways, that's how it's to it. You just kind of start going for it. So it looks like that's about a half hour's worth. Um, and I think we're there. You know, they put that dye in here and it all kind of comes out. It gives it a very interesting look. I'm going to try and darken that up, but maybe with some stain or something. Uh, it's never going to look like a rosewood neck or anything. I wish I had one, but uh, I don't. But anyways, um, that's where it's at. Okay, now I'm putting the frets in. I thought I'd show you how I do that. I curve my frets and then I just take it and... Oh, I give it a, put it in there and give it a little, oops, not too much. Gotta make sure it's in all the way. Give it a little love tap. I'm gonna take it up here. And I just center that the best I can. And shove it in. And I uh, cut it off, like so. The next one, give it a tap, a bit more tap, there we go, oops, not enough of a tap there, I'm going to probably have to end up gluing the ends down to these things, they seem not to, uh, maybe a little bit loose in there, but let's see, oops, i got to get that centered. Can you see it? Okay, shove it in there. Pretty good shove. Bring it back up. And that's about it. In the end, I'm gonna take another flatter. Um, this is a 12 inch radius. And the ends are going down good. These looks like they're seated real well. Let's see, I don't know if you can see how they're seated, but they're seated pretty good. And uh, so, um, once I'm done, I might uh, take a larger uh, or lesser uh, radius, put it in here, and then make sure the edges are all shoved in all the way. But that's pretty much on this portion of the work, over and over again. Okay, almost forgot. This Drake um, press I got at a garage sale for $15. Uh, I wanted to get one for a long time, and I couldn't believe I actually found it. And uh, anyways, then this is the tool I use for bending my frets. And you just shove your frets in there. Let's see if I can, uh, I'll do one for you. you. Just get it in there like so. Keep pushing and start rolling. Okay, and as you can see how that goes like this, it gives a nice contour to it. And this thing's adjustable. You can put more or less on it depending on what size fretboard you're using. And uh, that's about all there is to it. It's a 12 inch radius, as you can see. See, just about right. Got a little hump in the middle. Push the outsides in more than the inside. Um, that way you get the outside seated uh, better. Okay, I got the truss rod in, and as you can tell, I don't have a plunger, router. <laughs> it got away from me a little bit here and there. 
but it's still in and it's flush and this area here with a bummer but uh, it's in it'll work that's close enough okay I think I got the body done uh, I didn't show any scraping or putting on the uh, binding or anything but uh, I decided to go with the binding and you know what oh boy it's, yeah, yeah there you go kind of see how it all came out yeah I'm very happy with that with the way the body came out the uh, fretting came out real well it's all on. Okay, I got it all glued together. A real good fit, very tight fit. And uh, so I'm uh, gonna let that dry and I'll be ready to go ahead and start uh, working on the bridge and the nut. So there you have it. Won't be long now. I forgot that I was videotaping this uh, repairing this so I, I actually did quite a bit of work without taping it so uh, anyway uh, I got the bridge on and I and what I did is I put this on the back of the guitar right and I tuned put this on there and I used this to get the tonation correct and then I marked out where it was and then I glued it on and I made this tool uh, big washers underneath I usually have a uh, a big uh, plate underneath there that goes on the uh, bridge plate but um, some of the braces on this particular guitar because it's a parlor uh, were right in the way so I couldn't use it so I got some big washers underneath and I got it all glued on and hopefully it's left well she's strung up and uh, there's a lot more work to do um, Finish work, got to put a finish on the top. I'm not going to use that nut. It's a good nut, but I'm going to make one uh, out of cattle and so I got to make a cover for that. I got to stain the neck just a little bit darker, put the finish on, and then uh, possibly the strings are pretty low. Uh, but I might take it to, well, in fact, I'll probably just leave it where it's at. It's got a pretty good bridge height. Too, you know compared to it had that you know trapeze bridge or whatever you call them but uh, I don't know if you can tell these uh, cameras don't have very good microphones but Sounds good, it's a lot of ring to it. It's still mellow. Now this is regular setup strings on it and I'll probably leave them on for a while even after I refinish it, but eventually I'm gonna be putting uh, lighter strings on for the uh, Nashville tunings, but very happy. Finish on and bring you back. Well, I think I'm going to call this one done for now. I did put some uh, um, shellac on it, got it a little bit yellow. I, I kind of wish it had been a little bit yellower than that, but it's not bad. I don't, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and then I got a couple of coats of lacquer on it. Um, I'm gonna let the lacquer cure for about a month or so and then I'm gonna go ahead and level the top um, but it's good enough for now um, still has some things I need to do to it but uh, um, 
I gotta put the, the two dots in here. <laughs> and I'm gonna put dots up and down the side here um, so I can see what I'm playing. It's got that V neck on it. Boy, I sure like that. It's not like a baseball bat or anything, but it's uh, but it's, it's pretty neat. Um, tuners are okay. I might end up swapping those out eventually. We'll see. Um, I still want to put on a cattle and nut. I haven't done that and make a cover. Um, but for now, she's pretty much done. I did put a coat of shellac on the back. Really helped shine it up just a little bit. I just rubbed it on and wiped it right off with the rag. Um, just to give it a little sheen to it because it was looking pretty chalky and, and the neck was pretty chalky looking and stuff. But, uh, you know, she's I'm very happy with it. Um, got good low action with a lot of uh, space to work on the neck over the years. I'll be able to bring that down as she goes down. Um, but, um, very happy with it. Very uh, satisfied. I, you know, I just... Sounds great. Of course, our new strings are kind of tinny sounding. I, I hate new strings. I like to, I like strings once they've been on for about two or three months, and then they just start mellowing out. Anyway, that's it for this. Thanks for watching.